Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas and we have a Dollar Tree haul. So I'm sitting outside because I just filmed a thrift store haul in the sunroom. <sighs> the birds. But then by the time it came around to filming the Dollar Tree haul, the sun got super weird and was just blinding everything in there. That room is made of glass, so no help. So we're out here. It's not too cold. It's a pretty nice day. The birds are clearly loving it. So some of you will love that. Some of you will hate that. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, we are not going to break everything down into category this time. You know, I like to keep you on your toes <laughs> and I don't think it's too big, but as usual, we're going to find out together. So if you enjoy this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave it. And uh, to all my existing Thrifty Divas family, welcome back, and let's jump right in. The first thing I got, I don't know why, I feel like I have one, but there was something about this when I saw it that I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool, we should have this. For all the, the birthday parties and stuff that little man gets invited to, it is a roll of Spider-Man wrapping paper. I feel like we might have some, but I don't know. But now we have another one, whatever. And if it's your first time visiting us, hi. And if you hear me say little man, that's my six-year-old son, which my husband and I had decided when I started my channel that we would not disclose his name. So little man is my six-year-old son. Okay, moving on. Speaking of little man, uh, I found these. These are distributed by Greenbrier. So two books. One is called Who's Been Eating My Porridge? The other one is called A Wolf at the Door. And these are kind of right on his like reading fluency. So I thought it'd be perfect for that. Random thing, let me just show you this so I can go put it back in the freezer. I showed these in the last walkthrough. If you didn't check that out, consider checking that out. It's a few, few videos back from this, a couple probably. And uh, my walkthroughs are always good because I show things I didn't get and other variations of things I did get. So it's always worth a check out. But this I did show in the walkthrough because this is new to my store anyway. And these are frozen, fully cooked muscle meat. And it is a six ounce bag. It is a, I checked before I bought it, product of chili. And it looks really nice. It's like big fat mussels. So I thought making maybe like a little Fra Diablo or something. I got like four bags of that. Five dollars. Make some red sauce. Make it hot if you like it. And throw some pasta. Quick, quick, quick dinner. Sounds yummy. All right. I'm going to make it a story time when it doesn't have to be a story time. But hey, why not? All right. So I had been thinking at like 3 a.m. where I do most of my thinking laying in bed, I should get a tarp to bring to Greece with us this summer. Because last summer, close to the time that we had left in Greece, I went shopping with Little Man and I found this really, really nice, like eight foot wide pool, like eight foot circle. And uh, our house in Greece is a huge, like concrete patio all the way around. So that's, you know, level ground and hardness and is not an issue. So I was like, this is going to be perfect. Even though the beach is, you know, a hundred feet from our driveway. I'm like some days you don't want to do all the preparations or whatever. So I got him a pool. My mom, when we were there, was like, you're not going to set up that thing now. We're leaving in a couple days. Da, da, da. I was like, okay. <laughs> I just do what my mom says. So I put it in my bedroom in Greece. Brand new in the box. Never opened. It's still there. And uh, in my head at 3 a.m., I was thinking I should get a tarp to put down under the pool for when we get there. I I'll be able to find a tarp in Greece. I just like, so we don't have to go to a store first, you know, immediacy. And, uh, and they had just put a whole bunch of tarps out at Dollar Tree. And I said, beautiful. And then I bought myself a Viking stove because I'm going to get my kitchen redone soon. And, uh... I was talking to my stepfather and it's in the garage right now. And he's like, you should cover it just in case you're on the North shore. They get this moisture, da, 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 the electrical components, whatever. So he got me all stressed out. 
So I talked to Brett, my husband, and he's like, all right, yeah, whatever. We'll get, I'll get some tarps next time I go to Home Depot or Walmart. And I said, you want me to just get a couple from Dollar Tree? I'm going today, like for now and da, da, da. He's like, yeah, whatever, while you're there. Well, wouldn't you know it, this became the classic scenario of they have it usually all the time, unless you need it, then they don't. I dug and dug and dug and dug and dug, and I found one under some drop cloths, but I could only find one. And they're only four by six, so I feel like oh, it's not going to be enough. Anyway, I said it was a story time that didn't have to be a story time. Anyway, while we're here, I got these. I need to put these up right now, even though Greek Easter's a week after, you know, it's the 16th, I believe. It's two, it, it's got two packs, So, but I thought these were so cute. These little Nomi bunnies and eggs. And then these big fun eggs, window clings. So I got those. I got three bags of these. The Snyder's six pack of mini pretzels. One is for little man because convenient lunchbox size. But then I got two bags to give to my mom because my mom was saying how she really needs to bring snacks to her office. She gets too hungry during office hours. She's a professor, if you don't know. And she needs to get more pretzels, she said. Now, I don't know if it changed or not, because I know Weight Watchers is always changing, but last time she had said that these bags were only one point for the bag. I'm just the messenger. I'm just letting you know. So those are for her. Then, if you remember from way back, I am a boho. That's what we used to call it. I am a boho. I am obsessed with bows and gift wrap and all of it. And I thought I had a good setup going for my bows. I don't. I don't. They get squishy and I don't like that. So I need to come up with something else. But anyway, if you know me, you also know I'm also a neon ho. <laughs> and they had these. They didn't have the bigger ones in this highlighter yellow. Uh, but I got what I could find. They also had a green and they had an orange, but I was like, I'm going to be good. And I'm going to get the classic, classic neon colors. Now I need to get myself some black wrapping paper. That would go nicely. Then they had these and I couldn't resist. These are fabric. These are fabric bows. And it is again, a two pack and I got silver and I got gold. Once again, I need some black wrapping paper because that would be awesome. I love it. I really need a new system though. I do. I got to think of something good. Then I got two of these. These um, Augustino's mini snack bites in tomato and oregano, a product of Spain, 2.82 ounces. So somebody had told me once that these were really good. I've never had them. They look good on the picture, but uh, we will give them a try in little man's lunches. Uh, sometime in the next couple weeks because they have another field trip third week in April and I was thinking that might go nicely in um, that you know brown paper bag lunch and all that stuff I got two of these from crafter square these little uh, resealable ziploc bags they are four by three these are the ones that I use if you watch the lunch videos in the lunchbox when I do like packets of ketchup or relish or things like that, I put them in here because I put a slight tear in them so that they don't leak all over the place. And I needed more, so there those are. Then I got myself a pointy finger in pink, of course. So the reason why I got this is because once again at 3 a.m., I was thinking about it and I'm like, wait, I saw those at Dollar Tree, I should get one of those. The reason why, sometimes when I take pictures for eBay, again, hi, I'm an attorney, welcome, but I sell on eBay for fun, less than part-time, because I have no time, but I really enjoy that, that's, that's fun for me. So now you know. So, sometimes when I take pictures for selling at eBay, I have to point eBay doesn't like you to write on pictures. If you read the like whole terms of service, they don't like you to write anything on pictures or anything. Anyway, I mean, I do. I circle things sometimes, but sometimes I have to point. And I always try to use my little pinky so it's not noticeable, like off to the side and all that. But I thought this would be so much better in a picture, right? 
Nobody likes to see any part of a person in a picture of a thing that you're buying. That's my opinion anyway. But that's what I got that for. To point to imperfections. Yeah. I'm happy with it. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, then you know I uh, definitely take advantage of the shirts at Dollar Tree. I think it's awesome. So I got myself this orange 2XL tank top. you know, sports bra underneath or a, like a tube top. That would be really nice in the hot, hot weather. And I got this for me too, even though it's like a muscle shirt. I don't know. It's 3X. That might even work for, it might be too big for him. For Brett in Greece too, I was thinking, but it's a muscle shirt. It's a cutoff t-shirt. But again, if it's for me, you know, tube top, something like that underneath, nice, big and loose, 100% cotton, both of them. And this is for little man. It's just a green t-shirt. 100% cotton. Then I showed these in the walkthrough and uh, I don't know why I'm really in love with Peeps imagery this year and Dollar Tree is not making it hard you know so I showed these in the walkthrough I already bought treat bags the 20 count of Easter treat bags for a little man's Greek school class that's the only one I'm doing it for because I know they celebrate Easter so I'm not doing it for public school but uh there's only nine in his class and there's only 10 in here so I'm doing this and I also bought the the peeps play-doh and stuff it's just gonna match nicely henny's out here with me patrolling i think amazon's here for me so yeah that's that for greek school goodie bags i got a couple of these flow alkaline water 25.3 fluid ounces i was at a different store and they it, they had like peach and i was like oh i don't know how i feel about that but this is just regular spring water, alkaline spring water. So I got a few of those. And this is also for Greece. I just like picking things up. My, uh, my regulars know. I got uh, two boxes of uh, compared to Zyrtec, 14 count. And then I got uh, compared to Benadryl, children's Benadryl liquid, um, just to bring to Greece, just in case. I did bring one last year, but I don't know what the expiration was. And it's uh, good, f not for daily allergies, but I always like to have Benadryl in case anything, like a major allergic reaction, not allergies. You know what I'm saying? This is, that's why I get it. I showed this in the walkthrough. I got one of these, Freeman 50 count Hawaiian black salt Peel pads, gentle exfoliation, made in Korea, not tested on animals. I'm a little scared of it, but it says gentle enough for daily use, so I don't know. I'll use, will not use it daily, but I thought it was something to give a try. Then I got myself a green nail polish because when I was trying to paint my nails for St. Patrick's Day, I realized that I have no good st patrick's day nail polish so i need like i had one that's the perfect color but it's too old and it got super thick and i tried nail polish remover and all that in it but i need a good green so i got myself a fresh green and neon super super hot pink color vibes nail polish for my toes for the summer with a tan then i got three of these for brett Made in the USA. I know everybody's, in the, not everybody, but a lot of times in the comments, don't let him drink that. I know. He's a grown man. You can't make him do anything. Uh, energy drinks. That's what he does because he wakes up super early to drive around other people's children and he wants to be as safe as possible. So this has 200 milligrams of caffeine per 16 ounce can. That's pretty much a cup of coffee. So no, I don't know what it, what, let's see what gives it to you it just says caffeine and then you got some ginseng all right guarana seed very low down on the list and uh l-carnitine 
So these are zero sugar, 15 calories for the can, Liberty Pop flavored 3D energy drink. I got these six pack of snack time cracker packs for little man. Then I showed these in the walkthrough. These Nutri-Green Bites in strawberry. They are three and a half ounce bags. And uh, you get about 15 pieces in there. So I got those for little man lunches and snack also. Then I got these for myself. And there's going to be a different variation in here also. This is for when I like to put up like a bigger chunk of my hair just in the middle. These goodie clips. Then I also got this for myself, and there were two variations of this. I showed this in the walkthrough also. There was one with uh, metal roller balls, and then this is the jade one. It's a vibrating facial massager. This is the color that everything in my closet is, so that intrigued me as well. It takes one double A. That is a pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. On, off, and open for the battery compartment. So this is the Jade one. It does feel cold. Impressive, okay. So yeah, just a little put, get your serum in there, do some gua shying, but vibrating all at the same time, that's good. I thought that was worth a try for $1.25. Then I also showed these hand soaps in the walkthrough. They have a Yardley London Berry Blossom hand soap with orange essential oil. This one smells very nice. And then I audibly went <gasps> in the store when I smelled these. I always see these and I never pay attention to what the scent is. But these are the Arm & Hammer Essentials with Gentle Baking Soda Liquid Hand Soap. I see them all the time. But this time I actually looked, and it's manufactured in the USA, Gentle Rose Water. I'm like, this isn't going to smell good. I doubt it. Oh, my gosh, guys. Oh, my gosh. If you are a rose lover like me, these are amazing. I am so excited. I got two. Then I got two more things for my closet. When it's done, I will show you. I promise. I got this uh, two-pack of washcloths because of the color. I was going to get the microfiber one, which I think was a five count. But then I was like, I hate microfiber. I don't care that it's a five count. So I got this. I got these um, to help dry some of my brushes, my makeup brushes. Although I have the spinny thingy to wash them and it dries them as well because they... It spins so fast that when you push it, it goes and it like opens up completely. So they dry out very, very well. But, you know, whatever, just in case. And also, uh, I do have clear ones of these that I and black that I could have reused. But I saw the color again and I was like, I'm going to get this one. Hang on. It's a jot pencil holder, but um, I got it because it is. And now I used to have the makeup brush drying rack that they had like way back when at Dollar Tree but it takes up a lot of space. I like this because it's streamlined. So I got this, even though, again, my, my makeup brush cleaner does dry them, uh, just before I put them back with the rest to leave them out for a while because I'm a little skeevy with damp things. So that go on your face. So yeah, that's what I got that for. Then I got these for my mom to add to her Easter present. I had put some in her birthday present, the long rectangular packs that they have. But one of you had told me in the comments that they have them individually wrapped. And I was like, I've never seen those in my life. And I finally saw them. These Mamba, they have the Tropics and the regular fruit juice. I don't even think she knows that they come this way. But yeah, she's going to be happy. Then uh, I showed this in the walkthrough as well. This is a 32 fluid ounce refill of Comet Classics. Now, I did get the other one too, but we already opened it and it's in the cabinet. So this one happens to be the foam bath cleaner with bleach. And the other one was a kitchen cleaner with bleach. That is a great price, I think. I didn't compare it to the other Comets, but I feel like it's definitely bigger. I got three of these that I showed in the walkthrough. 
These are super soft gel heel cups, proudly made in the USA, and they're gel and squishy. I got two for my stepfather, one for me. Those are so good. To, if you're heavy on your heel or you have heel pains, awesome. So I was very happy to see those. He likes to put them in every single pair he owns. And then I got one for me, one for my mom, because last time we went to an event, she, my heels were hurting the ball of my foot and she had like these things. So they're in my shoes. So I felt bad. So I got her a pack of this and I got myself a pack also. And this is a high heel survival kit also made in the USA. And this has gel spot cushions. If anything, you know, any particular spot rubs you. Then there is the gel ball of foot cushions and then there is the heel cushion and it is three pairs of everything so you get uh four of those two of those two of those and here are the other claw clips that i got these are smaller so this is when i want to put just a little bit of the top of my hair back <laughs> then i got a whole bunch of car snacks because i need to have snacks in the car because i live a crazy life and i forget to eat all the time and then I feel sick so I got the imperial nuts sunshine blend which is banana chips cranberries almonds cashews and blueberries then I got the imperial nuts protein blend which is peanuts black raisins almonds pepitas cashews dried sweetened cherries and the power blend which is peanuts almonds pistachios hazelnuts and walnuts and these are all two two and a quarter ounces this was three and a half ounces this can of mixed nuts peanuts cashews almonds so i got all of those for the car i got two of these crafter square led wooden cross lights i got like the fancy filigree ones um, either for like the Easter dinner table or my grandfather's memorial, which is um, we're doing right like the week after Easter or something this year. So I thought those were very pretty or, or both, right? Because both. If you were somehow just looking at that and saw that the light wasn't in one of them, it's there. It fell out. I just saw it in the bag. And then I got three more of these Zuru Smashers Icy Jags, which little man is obsessed with and determined to get all 45 of them <laughs> so yeah and then i showed these in the walkthrough also i got these to bring to my aunt in greece that was staying in our house while their house got built their house finally is done and they're they're in their house um but i got her these these little like soap on a rope things they are so cute. I got the Nautilus, the scallop shell, and the starfish. So pretty. And they smell really good. I got myself two of these Color Easy Permanent Dyes in medium brown. I do use these. Uh, not every time, but I do use them and I like them. And it's hard to find the medium brown. So I got two of them. Then I showed these in the walkthrough. They had like a pink and purple pack or a green and purple pack, something. But I got the silver and gold. These are zebra gel pens in metallic ink, medium point, 0 0.8 for people who care about that. And uh, it says writes on dark papers. And if you also know me and have been around for a while, I'm obsessed with black paper and black post-its. So anytime I see these metallic type pens, I always give them a try to see if they're good or not. I decided to get three packs of these Easter bubbles to add. I thought I was done. I just got one more thing to add to the uh, Greek school Easter goodie bags. And of course, there is nine, including Little Man, which always requires me to buy another pack of something. No matter how many packs it is, it's always one more pack for one. Always. Never fails. So yeah, I had to buy 12 for nine. Then a little bit of a little bit of a story time, but not really. So I got some catnip. I got some 
Beef Eaters Lickables Pureed Cat Treat in the variety pack they have now. You get one tuna, one chicken, one salmon. And I got this Vitacraft Per Sticks Chicken Recipe Fresh, Meaty, and Soft 3-Pack right there. So the reason why I got these is because the one YouTuber that I watch, um, he has a cat, which is like, you know, one of the stars of his channel. And he recently just got a P.O. box and he lives in Connecticut. And I want to put together a package for him. So I got to get like stuff for him, but I wanted to throw something in for the kitty. So that's going to another YouTuber's P.O. box. I showed these in the walkthrough as well. I opted not to get the purple one, which was mushroom and burgundy wine because I don't like wine sauces to begin with. It's red wine sauces, white wine sauces I like, but not red. So I didn't get that one, but I got these Campbell Flavor Up Cooking Concentrates. This one is in rich garlic and herb, and this one is in savory mushroom and herb. I'm sorry, the purple one was caramelized onion and burgundy wine. But I got uh, I got these to try. And then I showed these in the walkthrough. I've only seen these at one of my stores. I don't know where they came from. Kind of looks like a five below item if you ask me. But it is this Light My Night LED Flamingo light. And my store only had like four or five. And I got one and then the next time I went back, of course they were all gone. But I just got one because it was $1.25 and I figured it might be cute um, to add to like a little girl's present. Like if little man gets invited to a birthday party for like a little first or second grade girl. I thought it was cute. So got that. And then if you saw in the walkthrough, it's been a long road, but I finally completed all three of the Encanto dough mold things. I was missing uh, Isabel, Isabella, and I finally got it. So now I have Luisa, Mirabelle, and Isabella. And this is all for Little Man's Easter Basket. I got two packs of Huggies wipes for traveling, and they are 32 counts. All right, then I showed this in the walkthrough, and I decided to get one. I decided to get one because I could not tell how light it was. So this is Flower by Drew Barrymore. Get Real Serum Foundation. And this one is in Shell Low. L-O. And the other one that I saw was in like Coco at a different store. So it was like this dark. And I couldn't tell if this was too light or not. I mean, it might work. I don't know. Or I'll just um, mix it with something darker, you know? So that's it on my hand. Huh. It kind of disappears. Medium buildable coverage. Natural radiant finish. I don't know. I don't know. I might just give that to my aunt in Greece also. She's a fair one. She's blonde hair, blue eyed. Okay. She's not Greek. Although I have aunts that are 100% Greek that have blonde hair and blue eyes. <laughs> That's where I get my light skin from. Then I got some foam mounting squares because I needed some. These are by Jot. And you get 60. And... This is a different color vibe neon nail polish. And I thought that was amazing. Could you imagine? Oof. If I thought the pink would be good with the tan, look at that one. It's awesome. I hope it's good. I mean, I kind of like the color vibes I've gotten so far have been pretty good. And then I got this. Uh, I showed this in the walkthrough also. Sally Hansen Satin Glam. And this is like a white pearl shimmery that's nice on the hands looks nice and clean then i showed this in the walkthrough also so uh in my last dollar tree haul i got a different one that had a strand with a few pearls hanging off this one 
has a big pearl and then three strands of diamond rhinestones on a black scrunchie. And then they also had it on an ivory colored, cream colored one, if you like that. But I was like, this is, you could work this out in so many ways on the back of your head. And I just, I love them. So I got the other one and now I got this one. Then I showed these in the walkthrough also. So these are Minute Maid uh, Aqua Fresca and they have for the whole can 22 carbs, 21 grams of sugar, 90 calories. But I just saw the hibiscus and I was like, that sounds really good. So I thought maybe like if my mom comes over, we could like split one like in the summer or something. You don't really see hibiscus stuff too often or willy nilly, you know? This next thing also requires a little bit of a story. I saw um, a TikTok or some, some life hack something where the woman was saying that she has this life hack and she doesn't know if everybody does this or not, but I was like, I don't. And then I happened to find this uh, Sterilite one at Dollar Tree and I'm like, this is, this is awesome. So what she was showing was that you take a garbage can like this from Dollar Tree or any dollar store in your big coolers for summer. A lot of you are probably like, yeah, <laughs> but, and some of you might be like, oh, like I was. And she said, you put this all the way to the side of the cooler. Then you put your ice and your drinks over here, the stuff that can get wet, no problem. And in here, next to all the ice, right? Separate with no ice in it. You put your sandwiches and stuff or things that you don't want getting wet and soggy. So they still got the ice, but not wet on it. And I was like, oh, so I got this for our cooler for our beach trips in the summer. Yeah. Now, apparently this has turned out to be a long haul. Like, you know, we found out together, like we always do. I guess I'll be naming this a XL Dollar Tree haul. I had no idea. It looked normal to me, but what do I know? It is normal for me. <laughs> but anyway, this is definitely going to require a story. So again, on these quick little life hack videos, I ended up seeing a woman using, do you remember Dollar Tree had those jot like clear marker boxes? that you could like hold markers in and they were like thin and they had a handle and all that. Yeah. When they were out and uh, a lot of people were like, you know, really excited. Like it was all the rage. I was like, I don't get it. I had no interest, no need for them. Well, I saw one of these short life hack videos where this woman was making kits out of them for her kid for travel things. So I was like, oh, I love that. That's perfect. And it's hard. And like, well, it just, it, there were so many good things about it. And I was thinking plane and restaurants and road trips or whatever. So I, I went to three different Dollar Trees looking for these marker boxes. And of course, now that I actually want them, they're nowhere to be found. This was a thing of the past, apparently. So then I'm walking around the store trying to think of what would work for it. I ended up getting three of these or two, I don't even know. Two, because I think I already have one for his like snackle box for road trips. And the reason why I got this one is because it looks like these walls all come out so that you could have just one space. So these are pretty cool for what we're talking about. And I will get more in detail, don't worry. But then, I was at another store that had three of these left and I was like, I'm going to grab three of these. And I double checked to make sure a crayon fits here straight. And it does. And I like this because it closes very, very tightly. So that's non-issue. Regular pencil boxes and stuff at Dollar Tree. I don't trust them because you just like squeeze those and they pop open, you know? So anyway, I got three of these. Now, the only thing that won't work here technically that I wanted was like markers. But anyway, I, I have options now. I'm going to keep them all. I have options. So let me tell you. So one thing that you need are these because you hot glue them onto the outside or the inside if you want. And they get to hold things like 
sheets of this blank paper. You take a whole big fat stack, you put it on there. On, on the inside is what I'm aiming for. And then you put crayons or markers there for them. They also have like small coloring books and stuff that you could put pages from that on there too. But you hot glue those clips on there and you put the, the crayons and markers in there and you have the paper attached and it's just a kit ready to go. Another thing that you do is buy one of these, break it out of the frame, hot glue it to either the inside or the outside of your box and then fill it with chalk. You can also do it with a dry erase board if you find one that's the proper size and then do dry erase markers in there. And the other thing is this. So you get one of these base sheets, you cut it to size, you glue it to the top. Now I know they have the, the red and blue ones at Dollar Tree. Little Man has one of those too, but they don't close. I have mine held together with a rubber band because they just, the lid goes on and off like that. So you want something that you know, closes well. So, like I said, I have options now of what I want to do with this. So you cut. This is probably enough for me to do both of those containers with just Legos. You cut it. You glue it to the top or the inside, depending on your case. And then you put, you put your Legos in there. So I got him three bags of Legos and then I got him some little characters and stuff too. So just these like fun travel kits. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, that's it. That, that ends this haul. Okay. All right. It was bigger than I thought, but thank you for hanging out with me. Once again, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button, I would love if you would consider doing so, becoming a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family and joining all the fun we have here. So I'm going to go organize all this and put it away and then go pick up little man until the next video stay blessed my friends i love each and every one of you Bye.